everyone! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Moira and this video is going to be the first part of my Thesis It series. So this series will be around 5 to 6 parts. I'm going to be talking all about my architectural thesis, show you my process, everything that I did to pass this semester. If you've just stumbled upon this video, hi, hello, my name is Moira and I am part of UP Diliman's BS Architecture class of 2019. And I recently just finished my thesis. I am so close to graduating. Oh my gosh, so close to that unemployed life. So in our college, thesis is done individually and we have to come up with a design that is a minimum of 5,000 square meters, basically anything that we want. And I chose to do the Philippine High School of Arts and Technology. It's basically a campus extension of the existing Philippine High School for the Arts located in Los Baños, Laguna. But my thesis will be located in the north in New Clark City, Tarlac. It would be able to accommodate more artistically gifted high school students and it will also offer new art courses which include multimedia arts and film. But it's just a thesis so everything is hypothetical. If you're interested to know more about the background of my thesis, you can watch my Hell Week video. I did one last semester and yeah, I showed you my life as a college student. So that video will be linked down below. And if you're also interested in UP or college or architecture, architecture in general, I will also be linking those videos down below. After this series, I am going to do a what I learned from my thesis video. So if you have any questions about my thesis or general wonderings, whatever, uh, you can just leave them in the comment section down below and I will be answering them in that video. So before we start, I would just like to put out a few disclaimers. Number one, everything that you will see is just my experience as an architecture thesis student. Every single student has a different way of designing, of studying, etc. Please keep that in mind and don't generalize. And number two, most of the footage, if not all, is just recorded here in this room because honestly, this freaking room is where I do my thesis because I feel comfortable in it and I concentrate better in this room. And if you're excited to see the next parts, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel so that you're updated whenever I post the new videos. So enough with this intro and let's get right into the video. Woo! Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Moira and today is the start of this thesis journey. Today is a Saturday and I'm here in the house so I don't have makeup or anything. I'm supposed to work on my thesis today. I don't want to start. I'm like procrastinating so much. I don't know, I don't want to start in the mood because I know all the stress that I've been working on in the first sem. I've just been waiting for a long time. I don't want to think about it. I don't want to do a thesis. Tapos, parang ayun, uulit na naman siya. Pero ngayon, I'm looking at our thesis calendar. Today is January 19. And then we have one week of no classes for thesis lang. And then we're gonna have our submission the, the week after which is the Site Development Plan and Architectural Design Plans, which technically, we na namin last sem, but of course, you're gonna make improvements and stuff. I think it's just a bit chill. It's not just chill, Moira. But it's not that ka heavy yung gagawin ko as compared to the next submissions. Because since we said we started namin last sem, so I guess I should make a list of what I need to improve on. So I don't know if I've seen it before, but this is my thesis notebook. I put it Dito. This is actually my motto for this this year. This too shall pass. Slash thesis too shall pass. So I actually have comments from our thesis presentation last semester. If you remember, to siguro may na hong pwedeng start on. Ito ang funny mga comments from my prof. Favorite ko to. Always speak with a lot of confidence even when you're bluffing. Panindigan mo lang. <laughs> and also, another thing that's stressing me out right now. Last Thursday, we had a plenary session. <laughs> Tapos may guest speaker. Parang pro prof din siya sa Orki. Pero for landscape architecture. Tapos biglang siya sabi niya, mayroon ba dito nagde-design ng school? Tapos parang ako, oh, magawa ko tawagin. Tapos biglang yung prof ko, mayroon yung National School for the Arts. So yun, napa, ako po yun, ganun. Tinanong niya ako, na-visit mo na ba yung, ano, High School for the Arts? Tapos parang ako, oh my gosh, 
Hindi pa. It's not like I haven't tried. We email kami back and forth. But the thing is, laging busy yung director. Ganun. I've interviewed them. Pero online nga lang. Pero sige, tatry ko pa rin sila i-contact again and again. Hi guys! So, update. It's been like 5 hours since I last vlogged. Wala pa akong nagagawa. <laughs> Nag-procrastinate lang ako. But, sabi ko, gagawa akong thesis. So, gagawa akong thesis. Kahit ka naman, kaunti yung magawa ko. Kasi, I mean, I still have like a week and a half. Kaya rin alam kung bakit ko masyadong pinipilit sa hindi ko na gawin na yung thesis. Pero, ayan. So, I made a to-do list. Ayan. And I'm going to do this part lang. Ito na, ito na. Gagawin ko na talaga. Hi guys! So, it is now, ano mga yun? Tuesday. Start na ako nung Sunday, pero ginawa ko sobrang onti lang. And then, kahapon Monday, yun yung nag-work ako pa 1 or 2 p.m. hanggang 10 p.m. tuloy-tuloy. Kasi, uh, parang may tendency ako na, na maging hyper-focus na feel ko ako si Randall, so this is as well. Kapag may ginagawa akong schoolwork, especially itong thesis, kapag nasimulan ko siya, talagang tuloy-tuloy ako na hindi ko kaya mag-stop. Nasa isip ko sayang yung momentum ko, ganun. So, susulitin ko na, which I think is like a good thing and a bad thing. Cause it's good kasi at least na-accomplish ko yung mga kailangan ko gawin. Pero, <coughs> pero parang masama din siya kasi nirush ko yung sarili ko kahit di naman kailangan magmadali pa. Anyway, so yun nga. Kahapon nag-work lang ako more on the layout. Parang inayos ko na yung layout ng mga rooms, ganun. Nag-add lang ako ng mga tables, chairs, and then ito rin yung sa mga classrooms, nagdagdag na ako. Parang yan, pottery wheels, wow. Tapos mga, ano, easels, ganun. Tapos ito yung editing labs. And yung mga music room, ayan. Kaya may paganyan para sa choir. Oh my gosh, guys! I just got home. And sobrang nakakaloka na naman tong araw na to. Because today was supposed to be judgment day. Alam nyo ba, hindi ako makatulog kagabi. Halos siguro three hours lang yung tulog ko. Kasi kakaisip ng thesis ko. Kasi dapat dalawa yung consultation ko today. One with my advisor and then one with my uh, faculty professor. <laughs> Sa advisor ko, feel ko nakalimutan na naman niya. Yung faculty ko, meron siyang kailangan puntahan so hindi siya nakapag consultations with any of us. So parang tapos yung class ko ng 11.30 tapos naghihintay ako hanggang 4.30 para lang sa wala. Ito, ipapas ko na lang yun nga online yung updates on my design to my advisor. So, ito yung mga nagawa ko na. Ayan, so ito yung updated ground floor plan on site. So, halos nagbago itong amphitheater. Nagbago yung layout. Tapos, oh my god, mukha din siyang sun. So, pwede siyang mema design concept na Philippines, the sun, uh, flag, ganun. Tapos, binago ko yung theater layout. Third floor, nagdagdag ako ng rehearsal studios kasi, oh my gosh, late ko nang nalaman kasi last sem na yung isang part nung design ko, which is for dance, it's actually divided into ballet and folk dance. Uh, hindi lang siya iisang dance na course. Kaya kailangan kong magdagdag ng rehearsal studios. Ganun. Hi guys! So, it's the Saturday. Plano ko, hapon, dapat nag-thesis ako. Pero, naubusan ng time kasi ang dami palang kailangan gawin ngayon. Kasi, ngayon yung celebrate birthday ng mom ko. Umaga pa lang, nag-grocery na kami. Tapos, dinigpit ko yung Christmas tree. Kasi, hello, January 26 na nandiyan pa yung Christmas tree. <laughs> Tapos, nag-ayos, nag-decorate, whatever, gano'n. So, sabi ko, bukas na lang ako mag-thesis. <laughs> Tapos, magkukulong na talaga ako sa kwarto ko bukas and sa Monday. Pero, hindi ko kaya naman. Ish. So, ayan. Dito ako sa kwarto ng pinsan ko. And, naglalaro lang siya ng Spyro. And then, mamaya, mas madami pong bisita. And, dalating si Cardi. And, yun. Ah, excited na ako. Yeah, I make food. Wow. Happy birthday to you. Oh, my God. Happy birthday to you. Birthday to you. Smile. Ah, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Wow! <laughs> Nakaalis na ang mga bisita. It's like 12 midnight na. Nagtanggal na ako ng makeup kasi sobrang inaantok na ako. Kapagod tong araw na to. Pero syempre mas nakakapagod bukas. But at the same time, honestly, I kinda don't regret not doing thesis today. I want to try my best na even though I'm on my thesis here, I'll still live my life normally. Basta balanced ganun na I have time for my family and then I also have time for my studies, ganun, whatever. Ayoko nang may mas umaangat ng sobra. So, ayun, always make time for everything else. <laughs> ano daw? Ayoko na, inaantok na ako. Hindi na gumagana utak ko. Okay, see you tomorrow. Today is going to be the day that I'm going to touch my thesis. Grabe, hindi ko siya nagawa for the past two days. Pero ngayon, gagawin ko na siya. As in, seryoso na. Hi guys! So, natapos na ako kanina sa floor plan sa sketch up As in, nalinis ko na siya and everything. Pati yung columns. Oh my God! Thank you, Lord. Kasi sobrang nahirapan na ako sa columns. Nakakainis kasi kakauwi lang ng tatay ko. Tapos binilad na niya ako nito! Resident Evil 2 game. Oh my gosh. Pero syempre, hindi ko pa siya malalaro. Kaya ako, ito yung motivation ko para tapusin ko na tong thesis ko. Para makapaglaro na ako. It is now 12 a.m. And I am finally done with the SketchUp file. So, SketchUp file pa lang. Basically, ibig sabihin, nagawa ko na yung floor plan and yung 3D model. Pero hindi ko pa siya nalalay out with yung proper labels and dimensions. Kasi sa ibang program naman yun, ililipat. So, anyways, pakita ko muna yung nagawa ko so far. This is the 3D model. Halos same lang siya nung sa last time. Sobrang minor lang nung change. Hindi sobrang minor. Pero, bali sa floor plan ako, mas nag-iba ng stuff. And hindi na siya kita masyado dito sa labas. First floor. So, yeah, this is the theater, amphitheater, field. Tapos nilagyan ko na ng furniture yung cafeteria and classrooms dito. Ayan, ang bagal mag-load. Second floor, more classrooms, art studios, dance studios with music rooms, faculty, yan, and then library. And then third floor, drawing studios. Dito yung editing labs and then this one is a recording studio, yes. Multi and then science labs. So, kapag ganyan, kapag tapos na, ililipat ko na siya sa layout. So, ito yung pinipindot ko. <laughs> so, bali sa sketch up doon yung paggawa ng 3D model and plans and everything. And then sa layout, yung nilalagyan ng labels. Sa mga nagtatanong ko ano yung ginagamit ko pang design, sketch up. Always sketch up. Hindi na ako gumagamit ng CAD or Revit or whatever. Kasi mas sanay na ako sa SketchUp. Tsaka para mas mabilis. I'll probably stay up either mga 2, 3, or 4 a.m. Ewan ko, bala na. Good morning, guys! It is now the next day, Monday. And it's the last day to finish this. Last night, I slept at around 3.30 to 4-ish. Tapos gumising ako kaninang 9 o'clock. And ngayon, 10.30 na. So, mag-start na ako para maaga. Ito na yung nagawa ko. Ground floor plan on site. Makikita nyo, nalagyan ko na siya ng column grid. Ayan, and measurements. And my labels na rin siya. So, yun yung gagawin ko. The same for the second floor. Same with the third floor and roof deck. Yun yung gagawin ko. A few moments later. Nagsayang ako nung isang oras kanina. Kakahintay sa laptop ko kasi sobrang bagal. Kapag tinatry ko mag-render, wala. Nag-load lang siya forever. Ngayon, okay na siya and mag-render na ako ngayon ng perspective. Just gonna click render and maghihintay ako for about 15 minutes. Ganon para ma-render siya. Tapos siya ako pa siya i-photoshop.
gosh, guys! I am finally done. It's 8 p.m. and actually, maaga pa yun kung tuto sa So yun. So here are my sheets. Yeah, nakalayout siya in A3 sheets. Ipiprint ko na lang bukas para ipas. So first page, site development plan. Basement floor plan, napakaliit, hindi niya na makita. Ground floor plan, on site, second floor, third floor, roof deck, and then you have the elevations, ayan, uh, sections, and yung perspectives. Yung some perspective, inulit ko na lang from last time, kasi halos wala naman nagbago yung columns lang, and dinamad na ako. So, ayun. Anyways, I think I'm going to end the vlog here, kasi after yun ito, ipapas ko lang naman. And yun na yun, tapos na ang first part ng sem na to. Oh my gosh. Siyempre, first pa lang yun, out of like, I don't know, 7, 10, hindi <laughs> ko alam. Anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit subscribe and also don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you're updated whenever I post a new video. So, ayusin ko na to. Tapos, maglalayo na ako Resident Evil 2. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And yeah, I'll see you in the next vlog. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!